Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Last time we made it to the town of Kirchester, and I got a little frustrated because my Pokeballs weren't working. Um, apparently the effect of a Great Ball or an Ultra Ball is not very significant. It's like, it's like they're, they're like maybe 5% more effective or something, rather than, you know, vastly more effective. The ones like, um... Things like Nest Ball and Friend Ball, not Friend Ball, things like Nest Ball, Net Ball, uh, the ones that, you know, they say they're good for catching certain types of Pokemon are significantly better than the generic Ultra Ball and Great Ball, apparently. That's what I'm told, anyway. So that would explain my frustration last episode. Um, I feel like the names Great and Ultra aren't so good if they're just slightly better than the other one, like Pokeball, Pokeball... Uh, 1.1, Pokeball 1.2, you know, make, make it sound like it's not a major improvement. Although Bug Fables 1.1 was fantastic, so, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we are here in Kirchester, it's really pretty. Um, Ballonlee, was it Ballonlee? The, the, the little, the, like, fairy forest town. I think it was Ballonlee. That one was prettier. Is that it there? Yes. Yeah, that one was prettier, but th this one looks nice. Hello. I hear that Pokemon in Pokeballs or boxes are nice and comfortable. That's good. Hello, Igna. Welcome to the town of Snow. You already know the name of this town, right? Yeah, I do. Hello, little friend. Sasa Snow. Okay, so we'll head back to Route 8 and have a bit of a look around here. Steam Drift Way. Hello. Oh, you're a cop. Gym Challenger, if it's alright, I will be your training partner. No, that's not alright, you're a fucking cop. Police Officer Bobby, oh, I'm gonna kick your ass, Bobby. Time to suffer. Oh, wow, you have a fire type. Oh, you didn't think this through at all. Here we go. It's hailing. Uh, intimidate? Oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> That's right, I'm annoyingly overleveled. <laughs> also, it was super effective. Uh, yeah, take some damage from the hail. Bolton, that's electric type, right? Uh, I'll keep my current Pokemon. I, th I think electric's good against water, but not vice versa. Something like that. But I'm overleveled enough, it shouldn't really matter. See? Used raw. What does that do? Oh, right, it switches my party member. Like, randomly? Yep, yeah, it's Pepita. Okay. Uh... Uh... Let's just bite. Bite's a good move. Oh. Oh, they're faster. I'll probably be okay. Defense fell. Yeah, then we just bite. Nom 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 nom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Take that, cop. My Pokemon did their best, but they couldn't compete. Good luck in the future. Oh, I hate you so much. <sighs> Alright. What's going on there? Oh, that's a Pokemon? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a Snom. Oh, I've heard of this. Hi, Snom. Uh, I assume you're Ice type, but I don't really know what's what, what's strong against Ice type and what's not. I'll try a Sucker Punch. Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see if we can catch this. Yep, Snom is easy to catch. Alright then. That's a marked change from last episode. Uh, yep, get some level ups. And we got a Snom too. Let's put it in the Pokedex. It eats snow that piles up on the ground. The more snow it eats, the bigger and more impressive the spikes on its back grow. Oh, it's a bug. Ice bug, okay. Um...
Naomi. There we go. Send to a box. <laughs> I, I thought that was like an item or something, but it was actually a snom. Okay. Um, well, let's keep wandering around here. I think there might have been some items we missed as well. Uh, since I kind of rushed through here. Because I was getting frustrated. Uh, here we are back on the non-cold part of the route. Because that tunnel somehow magically changes the weather. I haven't fought you yet, hello. I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't like this dude. Colleagues, Allison and Jordan. Oh look, Allison's doing a cat face. What a cutie. You deserve better. Girl, you deserve better than this guy. Okay, uh, let's see how we do. Sandstream. Oh, that causes a sandstorm? That's a pretty cool effect, actually. Uh, I haven't seen either of these Pokemon yet, so I guess I'll just try doing my strongest things and see what happens. Okay, that, 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 that went well. That's what I wanted. Goodbye, Excadrill. Bada ba dum. Bada ba dum. Bada ba dum. <laughs> Move takedown. I think takedown is good, right? A reckless full body charge attack for slamming into the target. This also damages the user a little. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, it's very powerful, but. Um. Hmm. I might swap out Swift for Takedown and see how we go. They're both normal types, so I'm not losing any type coverage. Alright, let's use Fire Fang. Okay, that clearly wasn't very effective. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't very effective. They just have high defense, I guess. Trapped by the Quicksand. Uh, the Sandstorm's gonna do a bit of damage. Not a lot, though. Ooh, Sandstorm looks bad. Okay, uh, Lucario? I I've heard of Lucario. You're are you psychic type? I I don't really know. I mean, I've seen you in the games. I just don't know what type you are. <laughs> uh, well, you're weak to liquidation, regardless of what type you are. So I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> Level forty-seven. Uh, use another fire thing on the same enemy. That's not going to do super good. Huh. You didn't try to sand to my other Pokemon instead of the same one again? Weird choice, but okay. Oop. Yeah, Garrus is going to be fainting. That's okay, though. I've got a full party and they only have two Pokemon each for some reason. Uh, let's try electricity. I think they might be ground type, in which case electricity is not a good choice, but let's find out. Mm, I could also try dark. Let's try dark. Bit of a frame drop there. Anyone else notice that? I don't know if it'll show up in the results. Okay, that was super strong. Uh, whatever they are, they're weak to water. Uh... Uh, yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna fail because there's no Pokemon left. Uh, yeah, Perserker, I've seen you before, right? Yeah, Liquidation is effective. Let's, let's use a Snipe Shot and we can have Charles do something. Uh, Crunch. Fake Out? Is that just... Oh, it makes them flinch. Oh, I see. That's not good. Yeah, I think the Sandstorm is affecting the frame rate adversely. Which is awkward because this game can only run on this platform. So you'd think they would make it run well on this platform. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. 
Yeah, I did. Your Pokemon are strong and cute? Yeah, they are. I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. Well, of course you're short on pocket change. You gave me the money. Like, you, you, you just gave me the winning money. Like, you know how this game works, right? <laughs> Hello. I'll teach you a camping secret known to pros. Press your control stick and you can squat down, making you feel closer to really small Pokemon. If you'd like, I could show you how. Maybe you'd like to pop by my camp? Yeah, I haven't done camping in a while. Let's, let's have a camp. Okay, yeah, if you click, this, click the control stick, you crouch like this. <gasps> Glaceon! Hey, Holly, get over here! Here, Holly Glaceon! Oh my gosh! Glacier looks like it wants to play a lot. I thought your name was Holly. Let's chat. Excited about this new place! Wants to play- oh yeah, let's, let's play! Oh, I'm, oh, how, do I, how do I play with you? Y button? Do you want to catch? So I guess enjoying camping. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Holy Glaceon! He's a lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> oh goodness. I can just try the cooking while I'm here. Uh, wanna cook? Yeah, let's cook with Lisa. I haven't done this part of the game in a while. I don't really remember how it works. Um, let's try... Let's put in a cherry berry and... Uh... Let's try a leper berry. Yeah, let's do it. And the flames! I'm just mashing the A button here. Come on everyone else. You can do better than that. Give it a good stirring. Am I supposed to stir really fast or at the same speed as the others? I don't remember. your heart into it. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, it exploded. Done. Did I follow the rules correctly? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, look how happy all the little Eevees are. Spicy instant noodle curry. Time for a num num num. Wait. They're not holding anything. Taste rating. Milsery class. Uh, is that good? I don't know what that means. Hello, Holly Glaceon. <laughs> Cute. There goes an Umbreon. I guess this is the one with all the evolutions in it. Because, yeah, all of, there's just lots of evolutions here. I don't see a Sylveon, though, which is a shame. Mm. Well, I had a fun camp. Got some experience out of it somehow. What's over here? Oh, a secret! A terrain extender. It extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. Oh, okay, so I think that's like if it's raining or... Something like if they cause rain, rain or the other effects like that, I think it makes that last longer. I think. Nothing in there? I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. 
Uh, I think we're good. We'll just head back to town now. Have a look around Kirchester. Oh, we can also fly to the camp now. Flappy flappy flap. Okay, uh, I talked to you already. Welcome to the town of Kirchester. Buildings from an age long gone still stand about the steaming hot spring that covers the town. So is this the hot spring? The water's not really moving as much as I'd expect a spring to be. I need to get curry toppings at Bob's your uncle. Hello. Seems like the hot spring's a perfect temperature today too. Only Pokemon bathe in it though. The falling snow hides the ice type Pokemon around here really well. Thanks kid. Hey dude. I'm just keeping an eye on the town. Okay, good for you. The stones paving the ground are quite cold. Snow piles up on them in no time. Alright. Hang on, can I... Can I, can I not go in there? You found TM-51 Icicle Spear. You launches sharp icicles at the target two to five times in a row. I try to remove chance from models as much as possible, but sometimes I still feel it all comes down to luck. I thought I was going to lose for sure, but then my Pokémon scored a critical hit! There are plenty of people who enjoy Pokémon battles if they can't participate in the gym challenge. Actually, there are people who don't battle at all, too. They say this is the hot spring where the hero rested his wounded body. Are you talking to each other, or are you just talking next to each other? <laughs> is that a Persian engraved on this wall? Probably. The strongest dragon type move is called Draco Meteor. Uh, no, no thanks. I guess you're a move tutor. So, does no one- is no one allowed to actually go into the hot spring? Cause like, you could do that in, um, Gen 3. You could go into the little hot spring in... Falaba Town, or whatever it was? I think that was it. You could go in the hot spring and I, th I think it actually healed your Pokémon when you did it. It was- it was super cute. <sighs> Dragon-type Pokémon are weak to ice-type moves. Maybe they don't like cold, huh? Oh, clothes shop. Let's get some clothes. Hello. Uh, what have you got? You've got torn clothes? Why? Shouldn't you have like warm clothes? <laughs> hmm. Bunch of different jackets. Okay, these yeah, these make more sense. Uh, dresses? Oh, I like these. Uh, there's different shoes. Oh, look at the boots. Cute. Uh, a couple of different rucksacks. Oh, these are cute. And there's hats. Uh, I don't really like those. Just sunglasses. Um, I'm thinking I might get one of these dresses. They look pretty adorable. Thank you. I need to choose outfits that really help bring out the cuteness of the Pokemon I'm with. Are you two like identical twins or...? Because, because, I mean... You, you look identical. I, uh, are you twins? And you're wearing the same clothes as well. It, oh my god, there's a third one. They're triplets. How about a jacket that really emphasize your broad shoulders? Mmm, I have a high body temperature, so I'm fine with thin clothing. I, I don't think that's how it works, but okay. <laughs> oh, I like this dress. Dress go spinny, dress go spinny. Yeah. <laughs> can I go into any of these houses? I can. Hello. You complete your Pokedex, I'm sure you'll feel a great sense of accomplishment. You should probably light your fire, it's gonna be real cold in here. Since it's like, snowing. Which means it's freezing outside. Is that that's what snow is? It's frozen water. It's a fun little fact. 
Wow, you have exactly the same house layout. Plenty of snow and ice for snow run to eat. Now will it become a Glalie or a Frost Lass? I don't know. What do you want to become? Hmm. Oh, another hairdresser. Hello. Ice types are the perfect fit for icy towns. Snom is just right at home. Nothing like fire types for icy towns. I'm toasty warm thanks to Sizzlipede. They're having a heated debate there. Oh hey, there's more twins. Hello. I haven't had my hair changed in a long time. Let's let's have a look and see what other options there are. Is that romantic? I, I don't know. I mean, that's cute. That's also cute. The one I had before was Sideswip Waves. Hmm. Let's go with the high pigtails, I reckon. And the front is... I wonder why you can't see it on your actual face when you're doing this. You have to see this, like, model instead. It's a bit strange. Okay, we jump, we've jump. jumped blue. Let's try something else. Ooh, some nice colours here. Let's go with green. I think that's pretty cute. Why button to confirm? Yep. All done. Thanks for your patience, you look fresher than a mint. Uh, yep, reprint my card. Thank you. I like it. Okay, um, let's continue exploring Kirchester. Hello. Muscles. No cold is too cold if you have powerful muscles to keep you warm. What do you think muscles are for? <laughs> You're in trouble if Pokemon gets frozen during a battle, it won't be able to move. Yeah, I know how muscles work. Route 9? Is this, is this the same place I came in, or have I gone somewhere else? I'm not sure. No, this is a different route. Okay, I can actually go this direction and go somewhere else if I want. Um, I'm gonna stay in Kirchester for now though. Are snowmen Pokemon? I don't think so. I know there are ice type Pokemon, but is such a thing as snowman Pokemon? I'd really fancy catching a Vanillish, but catching Pokemon is a young person's game by gum. I'm sure would be glad someone would trade me a Vanillish for my Sork. Yes? I don't think I have a Vanillish, but yeah. Perhaps I'll ask another trainer. Alright. What do you want? Sometimes the only thing to do in the cold weather is have an ice cream. Okay. It seems like a bad idea to me, but you do you, I guess. Oh, it's you! Cute freckles girl. I've seen you in a bunch of places throughout the game. I can't sleep without Whimsicott's lovely floof. Oh, what a cutie. The buildings in Kirchester are all built using designs that go back a long time. You can feel the weight of history from them. Uh, we can't go over there. Do you think we should head to Winden soon? I'd like to get some sightseeing I mean, along with watching the Champion Cup. Well, I'd like to go someplace where I can meet cute Ice-type Pokémon. I think that's where you are. This is where the Ice-type Pokémon are going to be. Hello. Welcome to Hotel Ionia. Ionia? Ionia? Whatever. Uh, I can't go sideways. Can I take the elevator? I can take the elevator. Uh, hello. Ever since I was a kid, the hallways of hotels have always made me feel like I've got lost somewhere. And go! Oh, I missed again. It's harder than it looks to get a catch. Hmm? You? Look like you'd know the proper way to throw a Pokeball. Are you playing Pokemon Go? <laughs> Hi, I'm the director. Well, look at you, you're trying to complete the Pokedex, are you? 
Thanks for that. Keep on searching out new Pokemon to catch. Oh, I know. I've got just a thing that can help you catch more and more Pokemon. A catching charm. Holding it is said to increase the chance of getting a critical catch. Curiously, the charm doesn't shake much. Come back and tell me we've completed the Pokedex of yours. So does that just increase the effectiveness of all my Pokeballs or something? Hear that background music? Yup, I made that. I'm a planner. My job is to think of ways to play, so I suppose that means that playing itself is my job. Okay, so presumably these are supposed to be Game Freak. They usually do this and have the developers show up in each game, but... They're in a hotel room instead of, like, a place they can actually develop with computers and stuff. It's a bit weird. Oh no, a cop. Hello there. What's this? Do you need something from me? Right. Why don't you run along for now, but come back when you're as strong as a champion, would you? Do you like Pokemon? Yes. Well, thanks for that. I hope you'll always love them. No. Oh, I get it. You don't just like them. You love them, right? <laughs> oh, hey, I know you two. You were on the ground floor and you were in the clothing shop. I'm completely obsessed with Rotom Rally. I can't get enough of it. We came here to research a bit, but the Galar region is lovely, isn't it? The best part of it all had to be enjoying the different toppings and all the curries. Curry is a big hit in Kanto too, you know? If you say so. Okay, so that's both the doors on that side. What's over here? Twins. Only after you master basic moves can you engage in more advanced battles. That's what I learned from Karate. I heard that some wild Pokemon soak in hot springs to heal their injured bodies. Well, it'd be nice if I could put my Pokemon in the hot spring, but I can't. Hello. My partner is a germaphobe. It's been taking a shower forever, even though it's ground type. The partner uses it its pronouns. Good for you. I guess that's everything on this floor. If I go back to the elevator, is it just to the ground again? Yeah. Okay. I guess we're in the hotel. We need to come back once we've filled out our Pokedex and some stuff, but mm, we'll get there. What's on this side? Is this another hotel? A competing hotel? Welcome to stay- oh, it's the same hotel, but it's got two buildings. Okay, you're welcome to stay at either building of Hotel Ionia. Hello. I'm trying to talk to your human. Hang on. I'm waiting for someone. My Noibat's using its ultrasonic waves to help look. Nobody over there. Hotels are the best. You don't need to worry about cleaning or laundry or anything. You have to do your own laundry in most hotels I'm familiar with. We've got tickets to the very front row seats at the stadium. Sometimes moves can come flying our way, but it's wicked exciting. You might die though. I guess I'll go upstairs on this side. Uh, I'm gonna leave you alone for now. Rubbish is so helpful. It eats rubbish instead of taking tips. Oh, I see. They're cleaning the hotel by having Trubbish eat everything. Interesting. Oh, a cutscene. So that means the culprit must be among us. I've heard of that game. Wait, who are you? After all the trouble of deducing things, don't go messing it up now. What's going on? I suppose I should introduce myself. The name's Howes. Yes, that ha Houses? Yes, that Houses. The Great Detective. I've been hired by the hotel. Why didn't they give him an, a unique appearance if he's supposed to be a named character? At present, I have con cornered the culprit of a most heinous crime. And that crime is... The strange case of who ate the large quantity of berries in the lobby. Those are clearly apples. I've gathered the three people who were present in the lobby at the time of the crime. But because of the noise, my marvellous deductive reasoning seems somewhat muddled at present. Do I have to figure it out? That's it. You, interfering child, you will be my assistant. Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the culprit. Alright. Hello. <sighs> Where did my Pokemon go off to? Huh? Berries? I didn't eat them. Hey, you haven't seen my Pokemon around here, have you? What kind of Pokemon is it? 
Looks like you were unlucky enough to get caught up in this too. It was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying that the whole time. That Detective Sherlock seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit that I saw the mountain of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating those things. I've got it in writing right here. Chew oh, a squirrel! Ah, my Pokemon! Where were you? I bet the Pokemon ate all the berries. Munch! It sure has a lot of berry juice on its mouth. <laughs> After listening to everyone's accounts, I have deduced the culprit. Dancer, you are the culprit. What? Why me? Oh, cute freckles. Because you're a dancer. You move and shake your body so much that you needed all that food for extra energy. That's evidence as clear and sharp as the leak of a far-fetched. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? You're not a detective, you're a fraud. Who are you calling a fraud? You can't be referring to me, the great detective. I can't deal with this disrespect. I leave it to you. You find the culprit. <gasps> uh, could this be the culprit? Y yes. <laughs> yes, it was the squirrel. <laughs> what? The stat squawavit is the one responsible. Munch. Oh, it's true. It's got berry bits around its mouth. Yes, it definitely ate the berries. Definitely. Oh, you're right. I see it now. Look more closely. Muncha. As, as, as expected of my assistant. Here, rec recompense for solving this mystery. Take it. A wide lens. What's a wide lens? Splendid, just splendid. I'm overjoyed. Must be off now. Take care, everyone. Hey, you, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Haha, <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to chase after him too. Oh, I would be friends with that squirrel. <laughs> I want to check what the thing I just got was. A wide lens? Oh, I've got two of them. Okay, it slightly boosts the accuracy of moves. That's why it didn't tell me what it meant, because I already have one. Okay. Thanks for solving the case. Squabbit is saying you did good too. Are you? Alright, if you say so. I guess I solved the, the mystery. <laughs> I've been waiting for my wife. Well, actually, my wife's been making me wait. But being blunt with someone isn't always the right thing to do. Uh, I'll just finish up these last two rooms in the hotel and then call it a video, I think. Just a lot of uh, wandering around and talking to people. Oh, you're cute. The sounds of scratching grass... Glass or screeching noises feel like they suck the energy right out of you, don't they? Take this TM. It can cause that kind of effect. TM16 Screech. Thanks. It'd be awful if you heard a screeching sound like that in the middle of the night. Face this way. You are kind of cute. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, last room. There's so many Pikachus in here. Tears are powerful. When I see them, I let my guard down without even noticing. Do you want to use a TM that takes advantage of this power? TM 47 Fake Tears. Use a Fane's Crying to fluster the target, harshly lowering its special defense stat. My rock music. It ignites men's hearts. It brings women to tears. I don't need fake tears. I kind of assumed that you were like a hip-hop musician from the way you d you're dressed, but I guess you do rock? Alright. Pika? Pika? <laughs> Look at all the Pikachus! There's so many! <laughs> Pikachu! 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 <laughs> I'll become the champ using an all Pikachu team! Okay, they're all the same type, so you might have some problems with that. You're cute though. Oh, look how happy! Oh, that's adorable. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um. Well, that's it for this video. Um. We didn't get a whole lot done. I mean, we caught a snom, but we mostly just wandered wandered around in in uh, Kirchester and just had a look at stuff. And I think that was fun. Um. Next time, I guess we'll finish looking through Kirchester. This place is kind of big. 
Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!